Oh, is that too loud? Maybe that might be too loud. Like that, maybe. Boom, 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 boom! <laughs> Pretty music. Oh. <laughs> I see blood. Oh, oh. What's this? We are playing corpse party. It's a horror game, and I get to I get a uh, dialogue, so I'll be reading it to you guys. I want to allow you guys to sleep with my terrifying voice. I'll try to do very good voice acting for you guys, okay? <laughs> yeah, cups party! Oh, no, 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 cheese. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna present my cheesy voice to you guys. I did not play this game, so uh, chapter select. Uh, wait, I don't want to resume. No, no, we don't want to resume. Wait, how do I? Eh, eh. Wait, meh, meh, meh. How does this work? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, and and then maybe enter. Oh, oh. Oh yes. Okay. Here we go. I figured it out. I can't right click. Oh. Yes. New new game. No. <gasps> we are going into a new game. You the chapter one opening. Uh, yes. Hola, como estas? Mm, muy bien. Shed, shed, oh. What? What did that say? I don't think she ever re- Oh shit! <laughs> but I still love her with all my heart. Oh, why is there a timer in the corner? What's that timer for? Guys, I think I need to fix this. Wait, let me fix this. Wait, 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 I I didn't yeah. Yeah. There we go. I fixed it. Now you guys can see it better. There. It says she'd do anything for me. Wow, you guys know how to read that? Wow. I'll just I'll rely on you guys. I'll rely on you guys to do do some of the reading for me. <laughs> Trust me, this game does not suck. It's good. It's good. Say enjoy and only follow your instincts. Yes, yes. Corpse party is good. You'll like it. Okay. It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She trembled and she fell and she died. You've all heard the stories, no? Before Kasaragi Academy was built here, there was another school on this property. Heavenly Host Elementary School, it was called. Such a horrible thing to happen. The principal was completely devastated. He 
cared for the school almost as if it were his own children child you see but one thing led to another after the incident and ultimately a decision was reached the school was to be shut down <laughs> the principal was so stricken with grief over losing his prince precious child that on the day of its closure he climbed up to its roof and threw himself to the, his death, or so the story goes. <gasps> People thought Heavenly Host was cursed, you see. This was the last of many deaths to occur. There, that's why it was torn down. However, they say the teacher who fell down the stairs still has no idea she's dead, even to this very day. And on rainy evenings like this, after our school days come to an end, some claim she roams these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. <laughs> In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds. Just after seven o'clock, that's when she appears, always complain, accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. Knock, knock. You'll hear from the blackness followed by the sounds of the classroom door slowly sliding open. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... Shinozaki, you had me going there for a minute. It wasn't me! I've been standing here right here the whole time! This is a real blackout! <laughs> Does anyone else hear that? It sounds like it's coming from the music room. Oh, someone knocking. I hear someone knockings. Oh, oh. <laughs> no way. First the blackout and now now the door. Get a hold of yourself and get off of me. That's my chest. <laughs> Let me ask my mom if I'm allowed to watch 16 bit horror. <laughs> you 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 gonna do that wicked. Make make sure you mom approves. Show show her this and ask if this is okay. <laughs> we can't have you being scared tonight. Uh, was, sorry, I couldn't see where I was gra grabbing. <laughs> Ayumi! Seko and Naomi! I was terrified! I was scared! What's behind the door? I told you it was a bad idea to stay here so late and tell ghost stories. Hey, Satoshi, are you gonna get the door? <laughs> the girls are all trembling in fear. Doesn't it just break your heart to see them like that? So so why don't you get the door? 
Uh, well, it doesn't break my heart. <laughs> Yo, Shiki's my favorite, guys. He's always been my favorite. <laughs> uh, oh my no. <laughs> that cold man. <laughs> Looks like I have to check the door, guys. It's uh... Ladies, ladies, excuse me, excuse me, let the man handle the work. Uh, is anyone still here? <laughs> Go home, children. <laughs> 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 Yushiki was everyone's favorite because Yushiki's my favorite. I, I like Yushiki. He's my favorite. That and the sad part, my favorite is also the girl that dies right away in the bathroom. I like her a lot. It just makes me sad that she dies. Like, can we please like have an option to save her, please? I just like her so much. She's so funny. She's such a dirty little minded minded girl. Miss Miss Yui? <gasps> hey Teach! She knows I'm <gasps> She knows I can talk! Hey! Alright. I'd call that a uh, rousing success. Hey. Uh, We've been had. We've been had, guys. The, that was all a joke, and <laughs> Satoshi is still on the ground with his with his feetsies up in the air. <laughs> Your timing couldn't have been more perfect. <laughs> I wasn't a student here too long ago myself, so when it comes to the seven wonders of Kisaragi, hi, I'm pretty well versed. Satoshi. I thought Shiki's reaction was priceless, but yours was on a whole different level. Altogether, Mochida. It was pretty impressive. I could never hope to compete with that. Um, Mochida's always got the best reactions. <laughs> I just love it when my scares are so thoroughly effective. It's simply delicious. <laughs> Whoever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak anyways? <laughs> Sorry about that, Mochida, but I couldn't deny your reaction was pretty amusing. <sighs> All right, pranking aside though, I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall who's come to see you. Huh? What are you standing around out there for? Come on in, he's right here. Oh, it's little sister. Hello everybody. Yuka, what are you doing here? Big brother! <sighs> Seems Mochida forgot his umbrella this morning, so little Yuka here has come all this way to deliver it. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thank you. <laughs> Is she from the junior high? Nice to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Ah! I had no idea you had such a cute little sister, Satoshi! Ah, really? I never told you. You never said a word! You sure do love your big brother, don't ya? <laughs> I sure do! Oh! Huh? Seems like she's met Kishinuma before. <gasps> hey, Naomi, it looks like you've got yourself a rival, eh? Hmm? 
I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I swear, this mouth of yours says the craziest things. <laughs> huh? Alright, everybody. It's past seven, isn't it? About time you all get ready to head home. Uh huh. Oh, do we have to? Shouldn't we clean up all the red bean cafe stuff first? It'd be a shame to leave so soon. Yeah, with the classroom like this, it almost seems like we could hold another culture festival tomorrow. Isn't that what you were supposed to be doing here in the first place? You promised me this room would be ready to go by the time I got here, as I recalled. Um. Uh, well, it's getting late. How about you leave it for now and come in early tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. Susanoto, I know how hard it is to say goodbye. But I wish you the best of luck at your new school. I, I know you'll do just fine. Um, everyone's sad now. Saj! Uh, Saj! One of their classmates is leaving. <laughs> Japanese characters dub in English with a German accent. <laughs> I, do I really sound German? Well, you know, then you, if, if that's the case, then you get a variety. <laughs> Hi! Thanks! Uh, won't be the same around here without you, Suzumi. I know you, Suzumoto. You'll make new friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. It's not like you're moving that far away. Come on, winter break. We'll all make sure we come visit. Yeah, totally. Don't look so glum. We'll see you again real soon. We're friends forever, after all. You, you guys. <laughs> Hey, brother, is that girl transferring to a new school or or something? Yeah, today's culture festival was her last day. Uh, thank you so much, all of you. I'm so grateful to have you as friends. You all a special place in my heart, and you always will. <laughs> Take care out there. She's my favorite. Seiko. Seiko is my favorite. Seiko and, and Rebel, Rebel Boy. I'll always be watching over you from above. Thank you so much for the head pat. I needed it. <laughs> uh, psycho. Earth the psycho. <laughs> My spirits will guide your part. <laughs> My. <laughs> your part? <laughs> now you. Come on. Let's see you, that smile of yours. Okay, but how about we get everybody in this shot? <laughs> what? Yeah, I totally want this! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Me three! <laughs> Me four! Big brother. Huh? Your your four friend your friends are really great, you know? They sure are. <gasps> <Yes! laughs> ah, gimme give gimme, give I wanna see Send it to my phone, would you? Morishige. Of course, I'll send it to all of you right now. Hey, teacher, before we head back, there's something I'd like to do with everyone. Huh? 
since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try it? It's it's called Sachiko Ever After. Oh, who's Sachiko? And what's with the paper doll? Is this another one of your occult things? Yeah, kind of. This is, well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends. Anyways, that's the gist of it. Oh? It's a charm? Yeah, a mystical charm. <gasps> awesome! I totally wanted to do it! I think Shizunozaki had her at charm. That girl is totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. Get sick, can't hurt. Is everybody okay with this? Hi! Hi! You bet! Morishige, you too. Uh, hi. Yes. Ominous. Alright. We're ready to go. Everybody, gather in a circle around this paper Sachiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words, Sachiko, we beg of you. Uh. Seven, eight. Uh, nine? Yeah, repeat it nine times. Don't worry if you flub it, it a little. Just make sure you don't stop part way through. She's real loud! She's busting through the place! Making a ruckus in here. Don't worry if you flub it a little. Just make sure you don't stop part way through. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less, or the charm will fail. Uh, Shinozaki. Huh? What, uh, happens if it fails exactly? This whole paper doll thing seems a little sketchy to me. <laughs> Failure is not an option, just give it a all you've got. Meek Meek is being loud now! Meek Meek! <gasps> what is this? Childish behavior! No, my cat Meek Meek making all the noise. <laughs> mm, cute boy though. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, let's get started everybody. Remember, the charm. Sachiko's- Chako-san, we beg of you nine times. Ready? Begin! Uh, oh, we are saying it right now. <sighs> Everybody said it nine times. If we don't get on with it, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now everybody, reach towards the paper doll and grab hold of it. Anywhere you can. Got it, I think. Miss Shishiro, like this? Hi, exactly. Now hold on really tightly, dig your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let go. We're going to pull on it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three! <laughs> yeah! Nicely done, everyone. Now just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it into your student ID holder or your wallet, basically. Anywhere it won't get lost. Huh? So the paper doll scrap has some sort of meaning to it? Then? Yeah, as long as we all have a little piece of Sachiko with us, we'll always be connected with one another. 
as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. Try super cool. I have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. Thank you, Chinozaki. I'll treasure this. No problem. Consider it our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Mm, definitely. Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all get back up and start heading home. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Uh. <laughs> An earthquake? Uh oh. <laughs> what the hell? This is like holy crap big. Big brother! You got. Take my hand. Everyone, stay calm. Get under your desk until it passes. Thank you. Under the desk now. What the? No, this can't be happening. Is this for real? Good, I'm falling! Big brother! Satoshi! Satoshi! Naomi! <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna get to the dark part. Rip children. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, my leg. <sighs> I can't move it. So I guess it's just a sprain. Where? Where? I'm not at home, am I? It can't be. Uh? It's so dark. I can barely see a thing. Is this the school? Oh, oh, lights are turning on. What's going on? Oh, what the hell is this place? Oh, we can move now. Oh, we can move. I got legs. I got legs. I got le legs for this. Oh, gas. Is that Seiko? Seiko! Seiko! Uh, this isn't good. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go rescue Psycho. 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 Girlfriend. We gotta save girlfriend. We gotta save Psycho. Yeah, Psycho. <laughs> oh, I tripped. I tripped on something. It hurt. It hurt. Oh, that really hurt. Oh, my ankles. In pretty bad shape. Okay. What's this? Can I interact with us? Oh, I can't. It looks like I can. Maybe I can't write right now. We have to get cycle first. Cycle more important than paper. Cycle! 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 Ah, oh, thank goodness. She's still breathing. Cycle! Come on! Cycle, wake up! Uh, Naomi, what's up? 
Don't you? Know what's on me? I thought you were dead. Huh? Is it where? Where are we? What's going on? Psycho was Shinda Janai Mazaka. Shinda Janai Mazaka. Not dead. She's not dead. That's what I like to know. Psycho taking a shirt right now. It ain't budging! Oh, those windows are sealed up tight! And it's pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of it. What I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well, this clearly is a school building. Don't the death scene... Unusually small to you, though? Like an elementary school? An elementary school? It can't be. Can it? <gasps> uh, what's, what is it? The printout on the wall. It's saying, Heavenly Host Elementary, notice to all facility and students. Heavenly Host? Isn't that the elementary school that preceded Kasaharagi Academy? The one that was shut down, demolished? Oh god, what's happening? Where the hell are we? And where are our friends? And Miss Yui? Calm down, Seiko! Don't get so worked up! Deep breathing. <sighs> Sorry. Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I'd been shaking so hard I could hear my teeth chatter. I'd become completely lightheaded and couldn't even think straight, much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I think I kept telling myself it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare, but no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of all. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something, anything. Hey, I don't have the slightest idea of what's going on. But how about we try finding a way out of here? Uh, a way out? We can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something. Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all sealed shut. And I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like there are decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure, but there might be an entranceway or an emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside. You're right. And it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going to go all loony in here if we keep this up. Okay. The first step is to leave this room. 
We've got to keep our spirits up. After all, it's probably not just the two of us in here. Uh? The others have to be around somewhere, right? Yeah, and if we can reunite with them, we'll find a way out of here together. That's the spirit. I had no reason to believe any of that I just said. I was probably delirious to be honest, but I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd be inconsolable. So in desperation, I put on the strongest front I could manage. Oh! Character introduction. Use the eye to interact with any character and learn more about them. When you're done, exit through the door on the southeast side of the room to resume play. Okay, so... Uh... Satoshi Mochida, a 17-year-old student in Kisaharagi Academy, Academy, senior high class 2-9, fairly average but popular, known for being both kind, kind and cowardly in equal measures. Despite his timidness, he very personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity towards others to make him a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is consequently the only person whom Satoshi regularly defers judgment. Okay. Naomi Nakashima, a 16-year-old student in Kisahari High Class 2-9 and a classmate of Satoshi since junior high, frequently greets Satoshi with, Oh, not you again. <laughs> Having lost her father a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her an interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends time studying, aiming for acceptance to medical school. Saeko Shinohara, a 16-year-old student in Kisahari High Class 2-9, lives very close to Naomi and generally accompanies her to and from school each day. A free spirit, she often says or does things that take others by surprise, though she's always easily forgiven due to her good nature and admirability. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of the household. Saiko seems to regard Naomi as kinder spirit, and two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Yuka Mochida Satoshi's 14-year-old sister, though she's an 8th grader at Kisahai Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts such much, uh, acts much, much younger. In the Mochida household, Yuka has always been the princess, generally getting her way and thus never really shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow up, often attempting to act older or braver than she is, which sometimes gets her into trouble. A 16-year-old student in Kisahai High Class 2-9, he's been in theater club with Mayu since middle school and developed a real closeness with her. He finds socializing with anyone else to be more trouble than it's worth. However, so he typically regards his other classmates with indifference, takes great pride in his family heritage, and reacts violently if anyone makes fun of his name. The only exception is the nickname Mayu given him, Shig. Mayu Suzumoto, 
a 16 year old student in Kisahari High Class 29. Somehow looks much tinier than she actually is, but possesses a big heart and a bright personality. Accepts anyone and everyone with open arms, never playing favorites, which has earned her nearly universal regard amongst her fellow students. Unfortunately, due to fa familiar circumstances, this was Mayu's last day at Kisahai High, High. She'll be moving shortly and transferring to a new school. If she ever makes it to her new school. The 17-year-old appointed representative of Kisahai High Class 29 often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and rivals in her hearing them at screams. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. In truth, however, Ayumi wears this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which rivals even Satoshi in its intensity. When faced with any truly scary situations, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of the fear-induced state. A 17-year-old student in Kisahai High Class 2-9 often regarded as sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he is concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. With intense drama at home, y Yoshiki currently works part-time after school to afford rent on a small apartment, where he lives alone. Miss Yui Shishido, a 23-year-old 11th grade English teacher at Kisahai High, just started the semester after passing her te teaching exams and is eager to make an impression. Although not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjade zeal and enthusiasm are infectious and her students seem generally responsive to her methods. Also serves as a teacher's assistant during homeroom for class 2-9 and really seems to have connected with the students there. Okay, those are all of the, all of the characters we have to try to eat, uh, keep them alive we are. It's, that's our plan. So this is a game where you make decisions and the decisions you make are the things you do in the game will hinder on their on their lifeline. Yes, let's end that. Yes. Let's begin. Come on, Naomi, let's go. Huh? All right, we can move. Okay, time to check everything. Time to make sure everything looks good. How does this look? How does... Uh, hey, Naomi. Hmm? Is something wrong with your leg? Ah, uh, yeah. I was so freaked out. I forgot all about it. I think I sprained my ankle when I fell. Oh, uh, that's not good. Will you be okay? I can walk at least. I'm sure it'll heal on its own. Uh, yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself here. L lean on my shoulder, okay? Okay, thanks. Yeah. The shelves are filled to overflowing with long black hairs. Oh, there's bl black hairs in there? There's hairs in it. There's a door in the back of the room. But just as with the windows, it seems fixed in place, like a decoration. Oh, wait a sec! <laughs> Another earthquake? <laughs> Is it over? <sighs> Let's just get out of this room! Keep them alive. Nah, that's too easy. <laughs> I don't know, I kept killing everyone last time, I think. 
What? What's wrong? This hallway looks totally different than it did before. Maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse. Yeah, maybe. Oh no, I can't get over there. Okay, we gotta go this way. This is the only way. Bucket. Touch bucket. Interact with bucket. There's a yellow fluid con congealing inside the rusted bucket. What the heck is this? P? Nori kore oishi no? Don't say that. Nani kore oishi no? Apparently, that's like a joke in Japan. Like, if you see something, you just say, if you see something you don't know what it's about, you just say, Nani kore oishi no? Does it taste good? <laughs> Apparently, it's, it's a joke. If you should encounter any dead ends, be sure to examine any spots in the walls or floors nearby that seem particular to you. Okay, keep an eye out for any parts on the floor. Touch the floor everywhere. We must rub the floor. Put our bodies on the floor and rub against the floors. That's what we do to find objects. Wait, did we go in here? Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? There's a loose board lying on the ground. Take it. Yes. A plank of wood. I found wood, guys. I found wood. It's my wood now. My wood. I don't. Nothing over here. Um, uh, we could go. Ooh. Um. Mm, 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 mm. We could go this way. Or we could go upwards. I think la. I mean, I think last time I went upwards. I don't remember. Cause there's an open spot up up there. I think we go this way. But it's a little too wide to risk jumping. Hey Nami, what about that loose board we found? You think it would support our weight? Uh, like a bridge? Hmm, I don't know. It seems kind of beat up, but I guess it is pretty solid. Try it, too risky. Try it! Try it! The loose board has been set in place. We made it. Oh, a save. Huh? This candle. I could swear I've seen it before. Yeah, we can save. Yeah, uh, there's already data in the slot. Do you want to over it? Yes. Okay. I did it. How do I get out of this? Oh, space bar to return. Backspace? Oh, backspace. Okay. There we go. Oh, we gotta touch everything. We touch the walls, touch the floors. That's what we do here. That's our that's our main goal. Touch touch everything. Touch everything. Touch. Oh, shoes. What shoes? Touch shoes. Such tiny shoes. This really was an elementary school, huh? Yeah. You and the others must be getting pretty hungry by now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Your father's working uh, late tonight, isn't he? Yeah. All those mouths to feed don't come cheap after all. And while dad's working to put some food in them, um, I get to be the house Frau. The house Frau. <laughs> house Frau line. Yeah, I guess you and them are still just little kids, so somebody would need to be around. You're pretty amazing, Cycle. High school or mom, all rolled into one. I'm not sure how I feel about that statement. <laughs> I just have to get back to them, though. I guess it's the same for you, too. Your mom's waiting for you, Naomi. But we'll make it back. I know we will. One way or another, we'll get out of this place. You bet. Okay, let's check in here. 
entrance, the heavy door is firmly shut and seems unlikely for unwilling to open through any normal means. So meaning someone's behind that door probably. Urgh, she's trying. Ah, <sighs> no good. It won't budge. Didn't feel like it gave at all. In fact, I think we'll be able to force it open. I don't think. Man, so close and yet so far. Well, I guess we'll better look for another way out. Yeah. Can't go through here then. If the first floor is no good, maybe there is an emergency exit on the second floor or something like we should head back up and see. Yeah, maybe. We gotta go back upstairs, guys. First floor, no good here. No way out. We gotta go upwards. Eh, eh. Oh, no! Please save the board! The loose board is dangling uh, precariously over the edge. Pick it back up. Yes! Okay, we acquired it. Oh, I thought it was gonna fall. Like, no, no, no fall, for, no fall, Boyd. We need you. Place the new board? Yeah, replace the loop board. <laughs> Lewis board has been placed. Oh. Okay, okay, we got two places. To What's this? Yeah, I can't I can't touch it. Okay, we gotta go in here. What the hell is this? The stairs beyond this point are piled with rubble. There's no way through. No, they're just chairs, just pick the chairs up! And move them aside. Please wait. Uh, you say something, Psycho? Meow. Yeah. Hmm, it's weird. It wasn't you? I definitely felt a presence of some kind. There was there was a presence. We go in here. Hello. Oh, it's quiet. Oh, oh a body. Oh, what's wrong, Naomi? Look over there. Aren't those b b bones like people bones? Uh. Yeah. Why is there a dead person here? <sighs> Wait, let me look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. Uh, gotta look at them more closely. We, got, we gotta make sure they're bones, guys, okay? We gotta make sure that they're bones. It's not like I'm interesting or interested in them or anything. They really are somebody's bones. Psycho, calm down, Psycho. Get back here. You too. Kimetochi. <gasps> you two are new victims, are you not? <laughs> Who are you? I was brought here against my will and come find just like you. Where is he here confined? Ah, uh, confined. Do you mean there's no way out? I'm afraid not. The school exists in a reality all its own, cut off from the world you know. 
So why have we been brought here? They brought you. They're constantly bringing new victims into the school. More and more all the time. Sinless innocence, one after another. This is cursed. Multi medensional densional. <laughs> Nexus. Multiply planes of existence all piled on top of one another, created by powerful vengeful spirits. Closed space or perhaps closed spaces. You and we as well are the unlucky victims of an inescapable abduction. Closed spaces? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? what, what? Does, does, does that mean everybody else is here too? Uh, are they okay? I wonder... So, so our friends are in the school too! I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others were pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. They are definitely in the school. However, you cannot meet them. They are definitely in this school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space or bring them into this space. Even then, escape is nigh possible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Oh, oh god! Is there no way out of here then? You said you, you, we were brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they and why have they taken us? I do not know. Neither the motive of our captors nor our means of escaping this hell. All I know is that, with some effort, you can at least live out your days together in the same space, and that alone is a fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater when working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. No! <gasps> Naomi! Naomi, run! We have to get out of here! No! <gasps> ghost! There's a ghost! There's a ghost! There's a ghost amongst us! <gasps> believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. So what you saw it too, right? Eh, yeah, we were talking to it. 
I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It, it'll be okay. Let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high or something. Okay, we gotta keep going. We, we gotta go. We gotta go in there. We gotta get to the other side. Oh, what did the ghost write? What the heck is this? Was this here before? Uh, I don't know, but it's just a picture, right? Doesn't look like a picture, it looks like drawings, it scribbles. The shelves are filled to overflowing with long black hairs. Okay. Uh, save. We will overwrite. Yes. Okay. Exit. Is this the same thing? Wait, haven't they host elementary? Notice all facilities and students. Oh, it says I'm going to kill you. Oh no, she wrote this. She wrote this. I'm going to kill you. Evil, evil ghost. Evil ghost has plotted something. Evilness. No running in the halls. Any students caught running will be severely disciplined. I don't even think I could actually like run, can I? I don't think I can. Classroom 3A, the door is locked. Admit it, you hate all your friends. Eventually, you'll kill one another. Oh, the ghost is trying to get in our heads. They're trying to make us feel like we're worthless and we're hateful. We can't let that happen. We can't let the ghost do that to us. We need another board. We need to look for another board. Um, Science lab, the door seems almost like a model, as if sculpted. slammed and grinded down that wall. <laughs> what a way to go. It <laughs> uh, smells so meaty. Get up close and snip it. <laughs> uh. so sorry. Are you okay, Naomi? Urban art. Yeah, it's just someone creating work of art. It's just art painting, okay? No, no worry here. Nothing to see here. Just, just art. I'm, I'm fine. Let's just get away from here. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I also heard that in this game, there's also new characters they brought in. I heard there's gonna be new characters brought in here too. The door is locked. I think two new characters. Oh, we need this. A loose board. Take it. Take it, this. Acquire a loose border. Oh, I like that. I like the fact that they put the items on the side. I don't think they did that before. So now I can actually see what items I collect. Let's keep exploring straight forward and then we'll turn back and put the board in its spot. What's this? There are several crumpled sheets of paper on the floor. Next to the body, they seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of death. We four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the main gate after school. Kyoto. 
I'm in class 5A. Everybody's fine. You saha, come join us. Okay. Is there anything on the body? The mostly bleached skeleton remains of a female student lies sprawled across the floor. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she fell to her death from the second floor. Upon closer inspection, there is a student ID name tag attached to what's left of her uniform. Say so, Academy for s Girls for School. Uh. uh let's check. I told everyone that I go with them. So why have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. Looks like there really have been a lot of different people brought here. It'll work out for us though, I'm sure of it! <laughs> Nothing here. If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of messages left behind by the many other victims who've died here. Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on the scraps of paper that litter these walls. It hurts. It hurts so much. Oh, it's the same- is that the same ghost that wrote on that one piece of paper? It hurts. It hurts so much. How many people did you murder so far, Bean? So far I have murdered zero. I have killed no one yet. Classroom A. 4A, the door seems attached to the wall, like a sculpture. It won't budge in slightest bit. Sometimes like when you um there's some cases in this game where like you have to like this quick events where you have to kind of like be quick in thinking So I'll have to make decisions quickly. I will My head is splitting. It's unbearable. I Can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it When we found Yuza's body, I saw a black shadow but I didn't tell anyone about it, and now it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so, so sorry. The lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. Basement. The door is nailed shut. It definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Do not enter under any circumstances. Principal Takamine Yana Kihori. Okay, that's the principal's basement. I don't know why I'm thinking of Squid Game now. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I need that purple. You see that purple? I need that purple. We gotta get purple. Purple. We need that purple. Okay, let's go get purple. Purple, got purple on other side. Purple on other side. Oh, what's this? A crumpled up note fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot! Kurto, if you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. Oh, <gasps> the skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull are still sitting on the chair. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Asuko. Asuka. Asuka. That's all I could read. That's all I got. I got. <laughs> they disappear quickly. What's this? Ghost? What do you have to say to me? Someone else's thoughts echoes in your head. If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. 
pay attention to its location. Find the exact spot where it once stood and examine it truly. Okay, we gotta go back in this room. Okay, what's... When we come in the back, it jumps to the front. So how about one of us waits for it over there? Okay. Okay, we gotta, we gotta remember this spot. It's right there. Okay. We gotta go to that spot over here. I think it was right here, guys. Right there. Is this the spot where we saw that weird glowy thing? I think so. Okay. Okay. Stay there. Don't move. I think that's where the glowy spot was. Almost got it. We got it. <gasps> now me, I got it. I caught the purple Pokemon. You did it. Nice job. Nice job. Turn out to be this. A shiny metallic key with a pretty white finish. The attached label reads Infirmary. Got a key, guys. It was to show you what little teamwork can do, huh? <laughs> we make a great team. Yes, we do. We make uh, the greatest of teams. The greatest of the greatest of teams. Now, I don't know if there's a door locked back there, but maybe ahead of us. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. I'm a goner, sis. The tendons in my ankles have been cut real bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please, don't give up. I want you to keep a living for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far in the hope that you can use this information to help keep yourself safe. It was- it must have ended there. <laughs> There's a particular partially bleached skeleton sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag this time. Based on the gore-soaked remains of the uniform and the length of the hair scattered around the head, it's safely safe to say this was a female student. Okay, what's in the door? Custodian closet. The door is affixated to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. There is an erratic noise like that of a TV static coming from within. There's a TV beyond this door. We must go in there and watch it. We must watch the TV. I went in there, yes. Yeah. So let's, let's go backwards. I have a board now. And I have a key. A board and a key. Um, um, which way do I go? This way? Wait a minute, this isn't right. Wait, this way. Yeah, this way. That. Wait, was this locked or was this open? I can't remember. Infirmary? Oh, it's, it's unlocked. Use the infirmary key. The door is now unlocked. Let us, uh, let us save. We must save this. Yes, save this. Thank you so much for the stretch and the hydrate too, Lynn. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you so much. I needed that, actually. My arms are sore. Thank you. Wait, did I save? Yeah, I did, okay. Oh, it's so hard, like, uh, having to, like, talk, um, in these kind of games because, like, 
it's consistent talking, so like hydration is so nice to have. Oh, wash your hands with soap. It says te o o oita ke su ken de. Oh, I can only read some of it. I don't know what that squiggly yes thing is. It's rich and funny. We checked everything, we interacted with everything. There's an automatonical diagram of human body tacked to the wall. Looking closely, it seems as if someone painted over each of the organs with actual blood. Oh! Oh, look at that. Blood. Blood, 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 blood. More blood, please. Give me more of the blood. The handle turns, but not a drop of water comes out. I didn't realize just how thirsty I am. Vast quantities of med medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. What do they need all of the these for? There's an old journal on the desk. At least it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model fused to the desk surface. It can't be lifted and the pages can't be turned. Uh. Why can't I move now? <laughs> At least it appears to be a journal. <laughs> journal broke me! <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> Why can't I move? Why can't I move? What happened? The journal broke me, guys. What happened? What the hell happened? I got broken. What? 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 Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to exit. Enter. I paralyzed from fear just by knowing that this journal was stuck on the desk. What do you mean I can't turn the pages on this, on this book? What do you mean I can't read it? What do you mean? <laughs> and now I'm just terrified in fear now. What the fuck, guys? No. Oh. Uh, bonk. What are you bonking me for, huh? You come in here to bonk people, huh? The bonk are gone, eh? What happened to the bonk? -o? The bonk. -o. The time's going. I don't know how to get out of here. My mouth's gonna move. But it won't let me leave. I can't even escape. I'm stuck. I try to use my controller to see if my controller works. <laughs> Blame Psycho for this. Psycho. Psycho. I came to choose violence. <laughs> I can't hear my Do you wish to exit? Yes. Yes, exit. What was that all about? Let me see. Okay, it works again. What the heck? It's a good thing I saved. Like chapter. Oh, you know, go back. You know, go back, go back, go back. I gotta resume. Yeah, resume. Wait, what happened to my save? Wait a minute, I saved. Guys, what is this? What is this nonsense? Why am I being hated? What just happened? Oh my god. 
What just happened? I did save! Yeah, I did! I saved with the candles! What do you mean? What do you mean? I did! You saw me! You guys saw me! You saw me save! Don't give me that! Don't lie! I did save! Nanny Cody? I don't understand, guys! What did I do? Why did I deserve this? You saw this, didn't you? This is crazy. I'm pretty- No, guys, guys, did I save? Tell me I did. The game didn't see you saving, but did save. How? I'm so- I don't, I don't, Do I have to really start over? Can I speed run this? Why did I have to touch that journal? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so angry. <gasps> it's not here. I keep thinking it's here. It's not. Okay, I'm gonna have to speed run it. I'm speed running. Oh, it's right here. <gasps> I almost died. Guys, I almost died. It's right here. It's right here. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm okay, guys. I'm okay. I'm okay. I almost died. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not touching that journal. That journal is evil. Absolute evil stuff there. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I actually- that was probably the most scariest part of the game, guys. <laughs> that was the most scariest part of the game. <laughs> I- I wanted a horror game, but not this bad. Not this- not this scary. I one time- okay, uh, what game? There's a game I played one time. I think it's called Eternal Darkness. And I was playing Eternal Darkness and like it had like like mechanics in it where it like made you think that the game like shut off or broke down or something. Like it would do weird stuff and I actually thought my game was broken one time. And it scared the living hell out of me because I'm like oh my god when did I last save? <laughs> because I thought I had to shut it down and everything and so like it turned out it was just part of the game. Do not read uh, vi victims. Do not read the victims. Uh, mer mer uh, other what? Do not read the victims. Something something on the. So I can't even I'm gonna read that. Some of the letters have faded away completely, making it difficult to piece together what the sentence is saying. Something about reading the victim something. A game that messes with uh, uh messes you up with saving games is terrible. Yeah, it is. It's terrible, I hate that. Oh. It's evils. There's a crumbled piece of paper on the ground that seems to have fallen from the corpse lifeless hand. Gold, we surely saved me. Good, we surely saved me. A pile of have, have, has of the sewn human bones. It's heaped upon the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID named Tay can be seen juttered out from one side. Sasha Shinomi. That was the horror part. The other stuff is just a preview. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. I Well, I thought like you just had to press resume, right? And it wouldn't let me resume. Like there was nothing in the resume area. I'm like, wait, why am I not getting anything? I didn't really- oh my god. It, I hate- I hate it. They, they could have been a little bit more explanatory. <laughs> Why do you have to have all this extra stuff if you can't resume normally, like with the resume button? 
Laboratory is boys room to the left, girls room at the end of the hall. Even turning the handle all the way, not a drop of water emerges from the faucet. The drain is completely stopped up with long strands of black hair and the basin is filled with dirty water. The smell of ammonia is almost staggering here. Oh, nothing in there. What? Oh, nothing in there. Oh, oh, oh. Shut the damn door. I'm taking a poo poo. What the hell was that? You disturbed a man in the poo poo. You don't do that. Uh -huh. That was either an actual voice or an auditory hallucination. And I really don't know which is more likely. Uh, get the fuck out of here! My toilet! Never disturb a girl on the poo poo room. That was a girl? Holy shit, what kind of girl has a voice like that? <laughs> There's a clump of unidentified meat inside the arrested bucket, completely crawling with maggots. Uh, the faucet makes an unpleasant sound of clanking pipes when the handle is turned, but no water comes out. Oh, it won't open. This one won't open. Nothing. Nothing in anything. Not a single water. Not a single water. Not a drop of water here. Hey, now me. <laughs> huh? Do you have any of that ass medicine on you by any chance? You know, the smeary stuff. You know, the stuff that smears real nicely. You know, that stuff. The one that smears smoothly on the ass cheeks. That stuff. That's the one I want. That one. <laughs> one again. <laughs> yeah, my butt's been drier in a desert since we got here. <laughs> well, I've got some antibacterial cream if that'll work. Thank you! I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with it. Real good. Real good. <laughs> Look at her hop away. She looks like she got a little turd between her butt cheeks. She's so excited! <laughs> Do you have any shame at all? <laughs> nope, no shame here, guys. No shame here. <laughs> Are we allowed? Allowed it? <laughs> Two high school girls with ass medicine interaction. Are we allowed it? Yes. Yes, 100% we are allowed ass medicine here in this in this scene. This scene was- this scene was meant to happen. We needed this scene. It's my favorite scene. It's a scene I look forward to every time. Seiko! Seiko! Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Nothing. Just checking to make sure you're here. Don't spend too much time with the- with the cream. Just waiting for Saifo. Oh. <gasps> Was that Yuka? Uh, uh, what should I do? Should I go check on Yuka? See? Psycho doesn't take being alone very well. Okay, I have to go. I have to go back. I have to go see Psycho. Psycho! 
Sorry for the wait. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. For the year. Oh, I hope you washed. Ew, ew, rubbing that all over your booty cheeks and then you hand me the cream tube like it's. Ew, I hope you wash the cream tube. Gross. No problem. Hey, wait. Was that stall open? Hmm? I thought that stall was locked when we were in here before. Was it? I didn't have any trouble getting in. Fine, I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about. After all, I actually just heard Yuka's voice out in the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. <gasps> really? Let's go check it out! Right. Sniff, sniff. What are you sniffing for, Rugen, huh? What you sniffing for? What? I tripped on the stairs. Ouch. Naomi. Naomi. Daizobu. Ah, that was so close. That was a close one. Mm, my leg. Thanks for lending me a hand. No problem. I'm just glad you didn't fall all the way down. Seems like you sprained your ankle real badly. So we should find you some place to sit down and rest. Uh, yeah, you're, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for the time being. Uh, thanks, I owe you one cycle. Think nothing of it! Think nothing of it. If we haven't been successful at finding a way out, yeah, I doubt we'll have more luck anytime soon. Besides, I don't think my ankle can take much more. Hello! Hi, Sebi! Howdy, Ann. How you be? I am being good. I've been being good, I have been. Um... My, uh, so far, I, my health has been okay. I mean, it's been okay. I've still been having trouble swallowing. I have been, so I... I mean, my throat's been feeling tight still, so I'm assuming I'm gonna need a medical attention once the time comes when I get to the hospital. But otherwise, it's been good. It's been good. It's been better than it was before, I think. Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Oh! I forgot to take that! I'll save. I'll save here, yes. We'll save here. Eh. Well, yes. Enter. Yes. How you been, by the way, Sebi? How you been doing? I think we both go out here. Have I gone in here? No, it's locked. Okay, but I'll need a key for that room later on. Oh, what's that? A fly? Is that a fly? Oh, it's a fly sound. Ew, ew. Oh god! I think I stepped in it. Oh, you did. Uh, here, I've got some tissue. Maybe you can wipe it off. <laughs> these, these are definitely somebody's guts. <laughs> when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. Like I'll just plop- like I just plop my shoe into a juicy pile of dog poo. Oh god. That's way too much information. You're gonna make me puke. <laughs> Uh, oh, sorry. Doing good, just got home from work an hour ago! Whoa! I hope work treated you well. Wait, did I touch? The fate that awaits you from here on out is a cruel one indeed. If you should get stuck and lose hope, 
The answer may lie in your past. Relive it and search through areas you've not yet seen. You may simply be missing the one thing you desperately need to continue onward. Reality will often throw such twists at you. <gasps> what was that? That was a special item. Secret message. Oh, my ankle, it hurts. Uh, somehow I expected the bed to be a lot dustier. Ah, uh, they are surprisingly clean. That's good though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Mm. I think I'm going to lay down for a bit. All tucked away in the corner like that. I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm going to take a look. Okay. Thanks a bunch. Girl on girl action. Nice soul. <laughs> Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. Now that her butt now that she got that butt cream, no her booty cheeks are all lubed up now. <laughs> She's looking, look at her looking around. Yes, yes! I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. That sprain's a goner. Now hold still. Oh, thank you, man. You're a lifesaver. Whoosh! Alright, you're wrapped up tight. How does it feel? Oh, feels great. Psycho, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. I sprained my ankle pretty badly before too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it, though. No worries, you've done more than you enough already. Uh, I'll sleep now, that's far enough I guess. Glad you agreed. <laughs> it's a slumberland for me. <laughs> you really are an oddball, you know that. <gasps> oh, we get scenes! <laughs> so, na hey, Naomi! <laughs> if we find Mochida, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Huh? Well, you know what they say when two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say? It often leads to love, sweet, sweet love. <laughs> you should, well, I'm up, up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place, and you cuteness factor all will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet. <laughs> I swear with you around I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school like nothing ever happened <laughs> that, that high school uniform has a really mini mini skirt <laughs> yes this this uh this one's gonna have a lot more visuals so we'll be able to see a lot more than the previous one so much better I think definitely feels a lot better <laughs> Thank you for your advice. I'll think about it. <laughs> I hope we find him soon. Mm. You kind of don't though, do you? You're, you're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to be put through all of this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe. 
and someone back home rather than wandering around here. Am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in. Uh, you're a deep one to be sure. <laughs> you're a deep one to be sure. <laughs> Imagine telling someone, you're a deep one to be sure. How would they feel? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> you're a deep one to be sure. <laughs> she may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all accounts. <sighs> Guess there's no fooling cycle. <laughs> That's a waifu material, yes. Psycho waifu material, 100%. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. No. <gasps> uh, what is she doing? <laughs> Go. <laughs> that was such a funny noise. <laughs> and what was that exactly? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. What was that kind of- what was that gulping noise that she was making? I'm sorry, it's just when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool. I thought she had the forbidden milkshake. <laughs> I thought that gulping song was her having the forbidden milkshake in the corner. <laughs> I was like, here Naomi, I made you the, the forbidden milkshake just for you. I hope you like it. <laughs> you are so weird. That was you, Kakan. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just keep that ass perked on that bed. You got it? Well, but. but Look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. <laughs> I guess I'll stay here. <laughs> Ankle does really does feel a lot better. Psycho has definitely a knack for caretaking. Miss Yui and the other Satoshi. I wonder what they're all doing right now. What what the hell is wrong with you, Satoshi? Get off of yourself and get a hold of yourself and get off of me. That's my chest. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't see where I was grabbing. You're lucky. You're so cute. <laughs> I just want to see him. Why? Why did this have to happen? Uh, getting better now, guys. I'm gonna. Oh my gosh. Um. 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 um I gone fucked up, guys. I've gone fucked up. Oh god. Shit. 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 Oh, there's no save. There's no save. No, I can't save because. Oh god. I forgot about this. Okay, I can't die. I can't die. I have to go balls deep in this. Got, I can't- gotta survive. Oh, is the door locked? Okay. On closer inspection, there is no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. What? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? <gasps> <laughs> Ghost? Are those children? Oh, let's all go on a field trip together. <laughs> 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 
Uh, who there? Who, who, what, what? My head. It hurts so bad. I can't stop this ringing in my ears. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna try getting out. The door is la latest with countless strands of black hair rooting it in place. Oh, okay. I need, I need an eye. Oh, it's is someone there? It's that evil journal. Sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Okay, okay, journal. Don't get me stuck this time now. Ooh. Have you come to find me? <gasps> Black moss. What? What the? <gasps> what? I need to get away. Oh, 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 you're faster. You're faster. Oh, please, please, please. Oh! Please, please, please give me another chance, please. Oh, the black mist begins to wrap itself around Naomi's body. <laughs> There's no question that this is a manifestable <laughs> violent force if this continues, death is inevitable. Oh, I'm, my death, my death, my death, my death. My, I keep getting stuck. I'm, I keep getting stuck, I keep getting stuck, I keep getting stuck, I keep getting stuck. No! Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. The door is latex. Where did this hair come from? Okay, we could. Okay. You are just being a fucking. Yeah, now you're stuck. Ha! <laughs> She's stuck. My, my life, my life, I'm my life, my life, my life, my life, my life, my life, my life. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, the Lord. I think they're stuck. It's a survival. I've already got smacked a couple times. It's no use. Just open it! Oh no, uh, where, I need fire, I need something. I need... She's stuck. She's stuck. Okay. What do they need all of these for? Okay. They take something. Oh, I need something. Isn't there like something? In, is there like a pair of scissors? A previous... Uh, almost... Oh. Um. Okay. We can do something about this. Shelves are empty. Look closely, the whole shelf seems to be shaking violently. What? Oh no! No, please don't! No, no, no! Yeah! Swiss. Swiss. Swiss, Swiss. Swiss, Swiss. Black mist begins flowing into Naomi's body through her nose, her mouth, her ears, her eyes. In no time at all, she completely engulfed. <sighs> Choking. <laughs> With vision darkening and consciousness fading, the last thing Naomi ever sees. 
is the wild grinning visage of a woman she's never seen before. <laughs> Wrong end. No, I wasn't supposed to die. I wasn't supposed to see that. My head hurts so bad. I can't stop this ring in my ears. <laughs> what? Door. Leg tights with countless strands of black hair rooting it in place. about this we could talk about this we could talk about this wait the shelves are all empty looking closer the whole shelf seems to be shaking violently Whoa, what do you mean Those, uh. It's not the scissors! What do you mean it's not the scissors? What do you mean it's not the scissors? What do you mean it's not the scissors? Okay, okay, we could do this, we could do this. Okay. Scratch, scratch. Uh, as if being, uh, has hazardly scrawling shortened begins appearing in the journal on the desk as if something being written unseen hands. The letters are so mishappen and inconsistent, however, however that they're completely Ill illegible. Previous dust lamp now shines with a natural, almost ethereal glow. Medicines, rubbing alcohol. What, what did they need all of these for? Okay. Oh, the blood dripping! Looking closely, each individual organs organs seem to be bleeding with actual dark red blood dripping from the paper. Oh, bleeding. The handle turns, but not a drop of water comes out. Okay something in here it's an old-fashioned space heater but it's so full of ash that I'll probably never light again a box of matches is on the ground next to it take them yes yes found matches oh, 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 oh. do I need alcohol with that no I don't need alcohol with that I don't think I need alcohol with that wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Try using the matches? Yes. Match, match, match the hair. <laughs> Why you need alcohol? You an alcoholic? <laughs> no, the, the door is an alcoholic. It need, the door needs alcohol. Again, the door needs alcohol. <laughs> Do I look like an alcoholic to you? <laughs> Try using the matches. The flame wasn't strong enough to do any significant. Okay. 
I need I need to find I need I need something to I need the alcohol I need the alcohol I need uh, blah, 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 blah. take yes Woo. Okay, we can eh, get out of my get out of my get out of my way get out of my way get out of how did she not touch me how did she not touch me oh oh how did she not touch me <laughs> again with your addiction i need alcohol i need alcohol <laughs> all right all right i got an addiction i got an addiction i need to put this i have an addiction of uh, putting alcohol on door that's what i have I need to put all this alcohol on the door, start a fire, and, and make fire happen. I got a, I got a pyro addiction. <laughs> After Hazley is splashing alcohol all over the edges of the door, Naomi lit a match in the attempt to burn through seemingly endless strands of hair. <gasps> they were plumes! Like a plumes! With a sizable whoosh and a waff of foul smelling heat, the hair lit up, then hardened and fell away, away freeing the door and allowing it to open. Now, now we go, now we go. We did it! We survived! <gasps> I'm going to kill you. <sighs> In an utter panic, I began to run as fast as my feet could carry me. I was so out of sorts, I didn't even know where I was running. I kept calling out Psycho's name over and over. Strangely, I have no memory of where I went during this time. I just ran as if in a daze, unaware of and unconcerned with my surroundings. When I regained my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seiko! Seiko! Where are you? Seiko! Uh, Seiko! Don't leave me by yourself in here! My butt rubbing girlfriend. I want my butt rubbing girlfriend. Heiko? Is that you? Are you on the pooper again, Psycho? Psycho. Oh, Psycho. Psycho. Oh. The stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. Yes, I'm touching all the meat and all the maggots. All over, all over, touching, touching everything. I'm right here! No! 
The filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hand. With blank eyes, Psycho swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. Psycho! Rip. I don't think there is a way to save Psycho though. I don't think there is. Naomi found herself with a large pair of sewing scissors in her hand. Her mouth was agape and she was lowering the opened scissors into it as if intending to swallow them whole. Scissor blades clanking against my molars. I could hear it too. Uh, oh, uh, what am I doing? Why would I try to swallow a pair of scissors? My hand's moving on its own. Isn't it in the way in the beginning? I think three A's in the beginning, though. No. Yeah, I don't, yeah. This is where this is where the one lock lock rooms are. Okay, we need to go backwards. We're in the wrong area. Let's go up up this way. Okay, passed over here. Woo! The fly scared me. All the way this way. Yeah. Wait, what about this room? Wait, this room's locked. Yeah, this is locked. Okay. Is this the room? 
The image on the board depicts a figure holding a pair of scissors, pursuing four smaller figures. Okay. You said a note, so there's gotta be a note around here. Was it the one on the wall? I'm going to kill you. That's just that one. Maybe it's backwards more? This room? No, this is the lock. Oh, wait, what's this? I found something. You should die here. You'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise, no nir nirvana, just eternal pain. Ugh, why did I have to die like that? Oh. Oh. What's this? Oh, a key to some unknown lock. Has that classic key shape suggesting it's rather old. Oh. Oh, feel the pain of death forever? Best not to think about that. Okay, we gotta go find where this key goes to. Is it? So it's gotta be a locked door that we need to go to. I think there is one this way, above. Okay. This one. The door is locked. Unlocked. The unknown key seems to fit the lock perfectly. The door can now be opened. No, mate. What's wrong? I I don't know. It's like my heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Oh, trust me, it'll be just fine. I mean, it's it's a locked door. You know what that means, right? Booty! Behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure. Just waiting to be claimed. Can't you hear it calling to you? <laughs> oh, I hear the booty calling. It's you, Zago. Zago, my booty. Enter. We must enter. Progress. We must always progress and enter. Uh, another dead body. A message had been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. I recall, think we should just leave this room, something's not right in here. Okay, but I don't know, I'm really curious about that newspaper now. Can't we just take one little peek? Oh, that's the newspaper we need to look at. Yeah, that's the newspaper we gotta look at. I don't know. Oh, look at- this isn't lit. Oh! Oh! Please tell me there's no ghost. Heavenly Pro is breaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Ho's elementary school has been stained in blood today as horror Thick details on the recent wave of disappearance are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within this town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely expl explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the Eps second use were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th, 1973 at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from this school was found within them, alive but near catonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. 
each of the corpse appeared to have had its tongue severed and removed. Mutilations far too grotesque to describe. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. Uh, how awful. I, I think I heard about this, though, once before. Not me, but I guess it did happen long before we were born, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Oh. Oh no. Can I not save? Oh god. Oh no, what, what have I come into? And the door seems fixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. A message has been picked up. Oh. oh, we already looked that way. We don't need to look at that again. We need this. If we could drop that cabinet. Oh, I wish. I wish. Gotta check the door again. The door seems. I can't get out. No, the, this game. We stuck. <gasps> 0918. Day duty. Yokizawa Azusa. Let me out. 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 Now I'm stuck in here. How do we get out of here? We're stuck. We're stuck here, guys. We can't get out. Let's see. Let's. Maybe there's more. You will never leave this room. <gasps> I will. What? You will never leave this room. Ooh. Oh, that's ominous. Oh, that's ominous. Oh no, we can't get out. Wait, what about the table? Can we... Sob, sob. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. What about the desk? Is there anything on the desk? Nothing on the desk. Chair? No! We're stuck! Okay, we gotta just interact. You will never leave this room. No, there's gotta be a way to leave this room. There's gotta be a way. <gasps> there's no way out! What do we do? What indeed? Uh, what do you mean? Just never mind. No. We gotta figure something. I think if we just keep interacting, we should find something. Oh, it unlocked. Oh man. Uh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, hold up. Oh no, 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 it's gone. What is? The paper doll scrap I got from Ayumi. Oh, the charm. Mine's still in my student ID holder. Oh crap, I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I keep telling you, you need to put things away before they get lost. No, I'm sad.
Okay, I don't have the key anymore now. But she lost a piece of paper. Do we have to find it, maybe? I mean, like, she went to the bathroom. Would it be up there, maybe? Can we, like, check up there? Let's see. She went potty over here. Let's check and see if it's in the bathroom. It won't open. It won't open. Really? So that door is locked. Is there another- Oh no, we don't have the key anymore, so we can't find any more doors that are locked, so... I assume that's what I needed to change things. Hopefully things have changed. Let me- I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Yes. Yes. Wait, just to make sure. There we go. It's saved. There. Oh, take the matches right away. I hope things changed. Oh, what was that? That was like blood that she puked up. <gasps> oh! Changes! Nomi! What happened? Are you okay? Oh, Yang, you're so loud when you lick yourself. You're weird. Let go. Sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. Ugh. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. You need me to rub your back? Oh, I think I'll be fine. Thanks enough. Did you find Yuka? Uh, looks like we really are the only two people here. The only two living people, anyway. Uh, this place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Are you okay to be up and about? While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should consider that room off limits from here on out, though... That's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we'd better keep moving then. Can you stand? Oh yeah. But where are we supposed to go? Hmm. Well... We've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. Yeah. Damn it. There we go again. It's hopeless. We're finished! And I'm so tired! I'm acting like a child again. 
Naomi, come on. It's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Plus, two Niners never say die, right? We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. And then in the afternoon, what say you and I go get our bikes fixed? Sounds like a plan, right? We make it back alive, sure. This is psycho. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Naomi, are you like super duper tired or something? This is not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. What the hell's got you so chipper? Um, you just keep smiling and laughing. Don't do I? Tell me, how long is that going to last? If it turns out we can never go home again. Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out. That's Croc, and you know it. Must have finally cracked. Under the pressure, this whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. I thought I'd be keeping Psycho's spirits up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was berating her, abuse, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irrationally and couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing from my mouth as if it's someone had turned on a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure our family is going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can. Whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to, so you do. What is wrong with me? Psycho's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that, so why am I putting her th through all this grief? That's how I think the people who leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normal people don't work that way. Huh? That's mean. Normal people do work that way. He's positive. Psycho is positive. Positive bean. Naomi. Sorry. How about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help get us out of here. Seems the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who mm. says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad and Yui and everybody else. And I and I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you of all people 
Just speak to me like that. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm... I'm so... I'm sorry too, but it's okay if that's what you think we should do. Then let's split up. I'll go this way. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word, sorry. Oh, but she didn't go towards the bathroom, guys! That's good. Can we save Cycle? Is it possible? I heard her loud and clear though. She was trying her hardest to keep my spirits up, trying her hardest to make me feel better. But the way I was at that moment, Psycho was just a little too bright for me. So bright it hurt. So, in this nexus of closed space where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed, Two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place were quickly and easily divided. My petty obsessency towards Psycho would come to be the biggest regret of my life as the consequence of that hate heated exchange. We're far from far more dire than I ever could have imagined. Small detail changes the story, like not going to the toilet. Oh, really? I didn't realize it was like that much. Like so much details you could change just by doing such little things like that. <laughs> no, she's crying! The jerk! I'm by myself now! I'm psycho! I'm playing a psycho! What the heck? Did I read this? I told everyone that I'd go with them. So why have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. Oh. Mommy's gone! Mommy's gone! Daddy, I can't find mommy anywhere! Oh. Huh. When I'm by myself, I think of the stupidest things. Oh no. I think I just heard somebody calling out. Follow the voice. Yes. You said follow the voice, right? I'm gonna follow the voice. That was the first time, huh? The first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. The moment Psycho and I parted away is a fear I'd been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my mental distraught state, I ran all through the building, frantically searching for Psycho. I just kept calling her name over and over again. Strangely, I have no memory of where I went during this time. I just ran as if in a daze, unaware of the unconcern with my surroundings. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. What is happening? Are they losing their minds? What's 
just being away, just losing their minds or something? Oh. No, no. Please tell me I won't die. <laughs> I don't want to die. Is that you? No. How? She didn't even go towards the bathroom way. This, she didn't even go towards the bathroom way. What do you mean? Someone's definitely in there. How? No, I'm not gonna. What? 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 Am I gonna die, guys? No. I don't wanna die. No. Don't do that. I need a bu I need to go grab the bucket. The noose around Psycho's neck is attached directly to the ceiling. No, I need to grab the bucket! No, 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 no. No, 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 maybe I'll work this line. Maybe, here, take the bucket, take the bucket, take the- No, no! I'm gonna do the die again, guys! What did I do? How did she even get to the bathroom? No. No. <sighs> I didn't die, did I? Psycho. I want to apologize to you for what I said. Oh, it changed. I was so worried that it didn't change. Up until just a few hours before, I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now here she was, all right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as a reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. It just can't be. Psycho can't be safe. What if I said no though? What if I said no about to the voices? Would I still die? How I would probably die differently, wouldn't I? In that case. Continued in chapter two. That was all of chapter one. It took me literally like two hours to do the first chapter. Extra one has been unlocked. Okay. Wait, okay, so chapter two's been unlocked, extra one has been unlocked, so there's an extra, and an extra chapter for the first chapter? Extra, extra. What's this all about? I don't know what this is. My name is Nana Ogasawa. I'm a seventh grader at Musashigawa Girls Middle School. It says extra one, not extra. Extra. What? <laughs> wait, wait, was I saying e like extra? Wait, what? <gasps> Tell me I picked the right chapter. <laughs> what are your cats doing? They're making a lot of noise. <laughs> and I help, I can't help but wonder why did this happen to us? I was just playing around with some drama club friends and some high school kids after class. 
when suddenly everything went white and we found ourselves trapped in here. And by we, I mean my, me and my friend, Shihaya Yamase from Homeroom, and an old friend from another class, Nari Amatoya, whom I've known particularly forever. Each extra is small story of another student. Oh, those who were the only ones in the room with me when I came to. I'm not sure what happened to the others. Does it affect like, does it affect like the story or like, does it just like give little details of extra stuff of like in-depth story of the, of the game of what's happening? I remember another class, Hikari Kigagami, and two high schoolers named Naruse and Kazane were with us before, but are nowhere to be found now. So Siya, ya, ya, Nari, and I have been wandering these halls aimlessly for quite some time in search of them. It's more like details of the death bodies that you find sometimes or something else oh so wait do i gain more x so are you saying that i gain more extra chapters when i find certain bodies like name tags and stuff is that what you mean or like something like that is that what you mean like that like that that'd be kind of cool if that's the case that would mean there's a lot of chapters a lot of gameplay Tihaya was the first to brave use the bathroom and even went in alone, but came running out not a moment later, claiming to have heard a scary voice. Look how cute her little outfit is! Oh my gosh, I love her little school uniform. I like the the beige tan look. It's so freaking adorable. To know why a pile of bones ended in a corner or splattered on the wall. It's small it's small content. Oh. During her flight, it seems she dropped the pouch she always carries with her, and I've agreed to go in and find it in her place. Okay. I don't know how long this chapter is going to be, this extra chapter. I'm assuming it's smaller, but I'll play just the small chapter here. Goodness sakes, yeah. This is clearly the boys' room. I'll play this small chapter, I will. When I finish this chapter, I think I might call it quits. A strong stench hangs over their ur urinal. Just because that previous chapter took me like two hours to play. <gasps> oh! Is in here he's just in the, this this ghost is in the bathroom like 24 7 has the major shits apparently oh what's this behind me uh, what the heck was that that was definitely a voice uh, found it there's a pink plastic pouch on the ground pick it up yes She has adorable pink pouch decorated with a cute little kitty cat and a short musical face. Okay, let's leave. The mirror is so cloudy, you really can't make anything out. You, this mirror is perfectly clear, but only your own pal pallid face stares back at you. Oh, there's three of us! Yeah, Nana. Yeah, I found it here. Hand over Sia's pouch. Yeah, thank you. You know, though, when you drop something, shouldn't you be the one to go look for it? Nani. I'm 
Mama. The three of us began wandering the darkened halls of the abandoned school building once again. Naruse, Kazane, Hikari, our missing friends, we called their names over and over again as we walked. But, o but our voices just seemed to be absorbed by the darkness in front of our faces, where they melted away into nothingness. We knew that eventually those voices would give out altogether and our bodies would cease to func function. It was only a matter of time. But despite that inevitability, we decided then and there that we would keep on walking for as long as it took. We couldn't give up. We had to continue struggling against our fate, calling out into the darkness with whatever voice we had left. For as long as we lived. Wrong end. What was that about? Is that what happened to the three girls? They just died?